Okay, we are moving inside this Arduino Day live stream and we are now getting to the hands-on project. We have prepared for you a workshop, a little workshop where we are going to build a talking clock. So what we are going to do is we are going to look for a talking clock on the Arduino Create website. So you can see that when you log into the Arduino main page, you find our link a little below the page, the main page, a link to the Arduino Create. You click on Create and when you go on to Arduino Create, you have this kind of six styles and one of those styles is the Arduino Project Hub. Arduino Project Hub is where all the projects submitted by our users are published in a curated way. So what you find here is usually a good project. So we type in talking clock and when you type in talking clock in this kind of search um, search bar we look for the project and it comes out with a number of different projects so you see a talking clock is quite a popular kind of project we have got on project hub and we've got the Arduino talking clock that says it as it sees it so we've got with displays we've got with SD cards and some kind of very sophisticated way of saying things so let's look at this one and this one has got oh wow has got the display but also has got more sophisticated way of speaking so let's get back this is not what we need and okay this is another one and is using the SD card so this one is using even a more sophisticated sun generation module but we're looking for something that is more effective that is based on the Toki uh, library and here it is simple talking clock using Arduino Uno and Toki library let's click on that and let's see what the project is all about so we see that we've got an Arduino Uno, an RTC library sorry an RTC module and a loudspeaker and scrolling down we see that is very simple so this is what we are going to use and we are going to use the code we are going to download all the libraries needed and we are going to connect all the bits and pieces we've got in our setup that is basically the loudspeaker, the amplifier, the RTC module, real-time clock module and an Arduino Uno. Some bits and pieces will be soldered together for our uh, As ease all of the use, projects and that usually be you do, kind of it's jumpless. important to have a mat. Uh, and so, so that this is the Arduino Uno on our green mat that will have this soldering things so and that spinning stuff. The RTC clock with already the battery. The Here is the loudspeaker, and also we do have an amplifier that will be used to get a decent volume. This is a touch, and this is the cable to connect the Arduino. Some wire is required, possibly at least three colors, so two for the power supply and one for the signal, and also some connection to the board. First of all, we have to solder the cables from the loudspeaker to the power amplifier. So we usually use the convention of red and black for plus and minus. It's important that you put some solder on the tip of the wires so that they will attach properly. You put some solder on the contacts and here we solder one and two wires those two wires will go straight away to the power amplifier that has got those pins that are for left and right but because we are using just one channel we are going to solder just one set of wires the little amplifier has got this left plus and minus we are going to respect polarity and if you don't respect polarity on the loudspeaker you might have that the cone moves in the wrong way so little holes some patients and here we solder the two wires of the loudspeaker when we've done this we have to prepare also the wires for the power supply and the power supply will connect also to the RTC module the RTC module has got a number of pins and these pins are for the power supply and for the SCA and SDL so is the interface for the SPI. We solder this little connector on the module so that we can have some sort of pass through. So the pins you see on the right side are for the signals 
coming from the same pins on the left side. So soldering this little connector on the left side will allow us to use the jumpers to the Arduino board. Soldering this connector is, as usual, a procedure that takes a little bit of time. Now we solder this one, uh, this uh, pre, um, this little PCB board where we're going to attach the other wires. We bend the pins of the connector so that we can solder our plus and minus wires. That will go to the amplifier. Why are you doing this? Because we are getting the power supply from the Arduino from the other side connector. We are getting the same plus and minus on this side of the module. And so we solder red for the plus and black for the minus. And these two wires will go in a minute to our power amplifier. Soldering, being patient to get the solder joint properly done. Sometimes you have old pieces of PCB like we have and so it takes a little bit more time to be soldered properly, but it's done. Then the other two wires need to go into the plus and minus of the power supply. In this case, we just want to get a nice connection, so we are not going to let the wires through the holes. We are going to put some solder on the edge of the wires. We are going to put some solder on the two little holes on the PCB that are marked as power, plus and minus. As usual, black is minus and red is plus. When we have done this, we now have a power supply rail that goes from the RTC module into the power supply. Now we need the wires that are jumpers with male edges that will go into our connector on the RTC module and then we can connect them to the Arduino. Carefully look at the pins. We have got plus, minus and on the module is GND and VCC and we have the SPI connections that are SDA and SCL. The Arduino has got the power, ground and 5 volts on one side. So we are using the red and the white that are GND and VCC that is 5 volts. And then we've got the SDL and SCA and we are using that side of the data digital connector. We have various options to connect those pins. But this is the setup we need. We put some order on the wires so that we are in the right situation. Now, and now we go back to the RPC and we have to launch the Arduino ID. We open up our Arduino ID and it will show up with the standard programming window. It is important that you go immediately to the menu to select the proper Arduino board because you might have used the Arduino ID with other boards so we need to have Arduino Uno. We select the Arduino Uno and now the ID is prepared to accept the code. So this is our window. We have to switch back to the project on Project Hub. We have to copy all the code. We copy it. We paste it in the Arduino ID. That's the whole code. Easy. Just copy that. It has all the things needed to get it the time spoken. But we have got libraries. Here we've got the SPA libraries. The wire libraries are orange because already loaded. We need to find those libraries that are for the RTC clock and for the Toki. So Toki has got two libraries and RTC clock has got RTC lib. How we get the libraries? We go on tools and we look for the libraries. But first of all, let's save our code as Toki clock. We have saved that. Now let's take care of libraries. How we find which libraries do we need? We launch a compile. And here we see that we don't have the RTC lib. So we go and open the library manager. It will show up all the libraries available. We put into the search box the RTC lib name. We find it. We click on load. We download it. We install. And then we look for the Toki library. 
same choose same choice type talkie we get it we install and at this point we should be able to compile the code without any particular problem let's see if it compiles we have got that thing that is about the language will it part of the library well it looks like it's not available as a standalone file so most probably is part of the library of Toki itself if the code compiles it means that we have got everything let's try it click on compile and see if it goes the green bar on the lower part on the right is progressing and at the end yes it looks that is compiling so we have got everything and the code is okay and it's going to be uploaded so if it compiles to the end as it does we can upload and magic when the code is uploaded we are going to hear the time three two one the time is 12 10 p.m is even let's see again if it says Okay, every time you open the serial monitor, it will say the time again. Let's do it again once more. The time is 12, 11 p.m. Okay, so far we have got our connection made. And what do we have now is basically the Arduino, a bunch of wires, the LUT speaker and the real-time clock. So what happens now is that when we load for the first time the program into the Arduino, the Arduino will talk with the real-time clock and the real-time clock will say, I don't know which is the right time because I haven't been turned on since a while. So what does the software is to say, if you don't know which time is it, I'm going to give you the compilation time. And because the compiling process is quite fast, it's going to be almost on time for the real-time clock to get as a timestamp. Then what we've done, uh, we have done some testing and we have found out that we need a capacitor to be connected at the input of the amplifier so that we get rid a little bit of some uh, DC component that is basically the thing that is making the loudspeaker to do the kind of bump when you switch it on and also it gives us some uh, better frequency response. So we have got all the wires connected and what happens, we didn't use the push button that we provided at the beginning just because we found out that this clock is telling the time every minute. So for our demonstration purposes, you know, we made this little clock that it tells the time every minute. You can alter the code so that it doesn't tell it every minute. You can add a push button so that you press it and you get the time. But for our purposes, uh, we think that is a good demo and the Arduino speaking is quite a funny thing. It speaks with a very robotic voice. It's a kind of 80s uh, way of speaking, but that's a nice thing of having an 8-bit uh, old style thing that is on our desk. So this is basically the whole project. And as you see from the various uh, zooms on the components, you can arrange the thing with some long wires as we did or you can make a more ordered uh, layout with shorter wires. We kept the Arduino with some kind of uh, male jumpers so that we can still unplug everything and keep the Arduino for other projects. If you want to make something more stable you can connect in a more stable way. Okay so this was our workshop. I hope that you'll have enjoyed that i think that you can replicate that you can go online and get the code from the same project hub page we used just for your uh, memory it's the project that is called simple talking clock so if you're looking for simple talking clock on our project hub you'll find out the whole project it's using directly the loudspeaker connected to the Arduino on the pins and as you should uh, have seen from the video we have connected the loudspeaker to the pin digital number three. You find all this information also on the Toki libraries and so if you connect to GitHub and search for Toki or you just click on more information when you download the Toki thing from the library manager 
you find out that the pin are 11 and 3. You can use both if you are just using one last speaker or as we did, we use an amplifier and we just use pin 3. Thank you for your time and let's move ahead with our Arduino day.